Turkey is a, at times, funny place. To survive and thrive in this environment, you need to have a dual mind track. One is constant and unbeatable optimism about the future of this country, while at the same time, a very realistic, hard-nosed, at times merciless, focus on your short-term results. Now, if you lose one of them, you are either compromising your growth potential or your own survival. It's, it's very similar. There are parallels in the way we also manage our careers. You have to be very, very optimistic about your own potential as an individual in the medium to long term, while at the same time deal with the challenges in your daily short-term responsibilities and in your career. In a volatile marketplace that is constantly challenging, Pfizer Turkey has a unique approach to assure its future in the way it develops its greatest asset, its people. First of all, you have to recruit the best person available the best person available, not for the job, but for the jobs that will take place in years to come. With this approach, development is a collaborative process. We were assessing Tulpar, and the people in the room were people that were working very close to him. I was there because I was one of his managers in the strategic planning department. Tulpar's previous bosses were there. The other person was a facilitator from HR and one other person to help the facilitating process. In a more traditional organization, a manager would be very unwilling and sometimes would feel very insecure about having a group discussion about the potential of one of his employees. But our feeling has been that misses some very important dimensions of, number one, understanding where the people are, and even more importantly, how can you develop them? We discussed Tulpar's strategic way of thinking, his analytical skills, his interpersonal skills with peers and bosses, and his way of presenting ideas, and we get to a conclusion together. And there's a career path written there. Tulpar's a PSR right now, but he can be a business unit manager in the future. Meetings like this to develop careers are part of the reason Pfizer Turkey has become a high-performance business unit. Its unusual leadership development model builds for the future by allowing people the opportunity to work in different positions. But the process does not start with the job. It begins with the employee. You have to recruit the quality of people that will adapt to jobs that you cannot dream of. I returned from the States in 1995 after I got my MBA in international business and international law. I was applying for a finance position back then, thinking of mostly Procter & Gamble and Unilever. But I had a couple friends in Pfizer and they told me that it was a great company to work for. So I took Pfizer's offer and turned down the other two. And um, so I started off as a management trainee in the finance department. I was helping the product managers decide on what kind of a promotional material to give to physicians. And I had no idea what the field reps were actually doing with their promotional materials. Tulpar had come to a turning point in his development, one that involved his manager as well. As a manager, either decide to keep the person there and let him perform whatever he's doing in a very good way, or take the risk of putting that individual in a job in which maybe he or she will not perform as well as she has been doing in the previous job. We take those risks so that people can reach their full potential. The choice for Tulpar would be to stay in marketing or move to sales. We talked it with my manager and we decided that an experience in the field would be a great asset for me for the future. Pfizer Turkey has built a culture in which people embrace seeming demotions to broaden their experience while meeting the strategic needs of the business. The foundation of this culture is based on an enlightened concept of development pioneered by Alev Sonat. You can develop people in two ways. One is the Darwinian method. It is not a good thing because the fittest survive at that uh, with that approach becomes very arrogant. So you have to find another solution to that. And uh, to do that, you have to give people a chance to see various aspects of the business. Tulpar started in the finance department, moved to marketing, and is now a pharmaceutical sales representative. 
While he will gather valuable experience in the field, he knows that he has to perform well in his sales position to advance. When anybody, any future leader in the company, be it from finance, be it from technical division, be it from marketing, be it from medical, when they go and take a sales representative job, mainly for developmental reasons, they know that they have burned their ships. They have to be an extremely successful rep. But that's at your own risk. Nobody can promise you that you will jump onto a higher position after a certain while. Nobody can guarantee something like that. So when we promote people, when we move people laterally, when we sometimes voluntarily demote people, we don't cut their salaries, but the position power changes, the car that you drive changes, the room that you have uh, changes, the assistant you have may be gone, but still you know that you are developing for future leadership. It's, it's an interesting thing, but that requires, above anything else, a relationship of trust between the people and their leaders and their managers. To be able to tell someone, we believe in your potential, as a leader of this company in the future. But in order to get there, you need to give up the status symbols that come along with it, or the role that you have currently. We want you to come down one level, or two levels sometimes, so that you can go three levels up. With seven years of experience in finance, Ahmet Ganel was promoted to controller. After two years in this position, he asked himself a question. What am I going to be here? What are the options that I can try if my age allows me to take risks and challenges? Ahmed came to me and he said uh, he wants to be uh, in the marketing. And when I told him that he should start with the uh, PSR's job, he gladly accepted that. A lot of friends of mine uh, have uh, said to me that you are crazy, you know, you are, after all, you are the controller of this company. You must be crazy. You, you left that job. Why? I mean, are you crazy? He became a PSR and then a district manager, then a product manager. Now he's a business manager. 